Askoff halfway through the first fucking and after episode. He, and after he took his mask off. Are you off, fucking with me, nigga? After he took his mask, mask off, he became like Jafar of Aladdin. He became like one of the, like, Scar of Lion King. He became like one of the typical fucking Disney villains, okay? He should have been more like Darth Vader, where it was more sinister. And he was, after he fucking took his mask off, he was not fucking sinister, okay? He was just like this fucking pretty boy that was fucking... In five the, seconds of summer. I mean, you know, that fucking band. I don't know. If, 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 if Anakin in episode... Th- I think Anakin in episode three was more sinister after... Than, than, than this uh, guy was yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he was more sinister yeah. than this guy after he took his mask off. Yeah. He should have kept his mask on until Han Solo. Well, what I was saying is, obviously I agree with him, he should have kept his mask on until he confronted his father, Han Solo, which he kills him. Han Solo, that is. Kylo Ryan does kill Han Solo. Let me add that. Like we said, there are spoiler alerts. Yeah, well, Kylo Ryan stabs the fuck out of Han Solo after pretending to... Oh, daddy, I missed you, daddy. Yeah, let me stab you. Boom! This, Fuck you. Yeah, you know, he was sitting there. This pain, I can't take it away. Look, can yeah, you help this, me? This, and then, this, 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 this pain. Here, let me take it away by stabbing your ass. Stabbing that ass. Yeah, and then, 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 then Hans. Yeah, yeah, Fuck you. And then Hans. Fuck so, you. And then Hans was like, sure, what do you need? And then he's sitting there holding the lightsaber. He's like, Bzzz. thank you. Well, then Hans still grabs his face. All, all fucking emotional about it. It's like, what the fuck? What happened, Disney? What are you doing? Yeah, but anyway. I mean, I can understand. Anyway. I can understand getting rid of Harrison Ford, but like we said, he should not have taken his mask off until that confrontation. If they're gonna kill off fucking Han Solo, they shouldn't have taken the mask off until that. Anyway. Live long and prosper, by the way. Anyway, Just- <laughs> anyway, anyway. Dude, ignore that, please. <laughs> anyway, um. I think it's bullshit. Disney, you know, revealed a new evil character, you know, overlord kind of thing. And he kind was of like really Darth Vader. Kind, mm-hmm. of, like, kind of like Darth Vader. You know, I, I can't lie. When I first saw, when me, I first saw, this. when I first saw the trailer to the new Star Wars Episode Seven, which we just saw today, the full episode, not just trailers. Yeah. We saw the full <laughs> episode. I thought he was taking over Darth Vader. Okay. It's bullshit how Disney had him take his fucking mask off. Yeah, we had to wait three fucking episodes for Darth Vader. Halfway through the first fucking episode. Yeah. Are you fucking with me? That we ain't fun. Even, Who the I mean, fuck's gonna be taking over? I mean, I'll tell you this. Like you said, like Darth Vader in and, four, five, and six, and well took him three fucking episodes. And along Palpatine. with Palpatine in one, two, and three. Yeah, we only see him in a finally cloak. reveal the who evil was. selves. Who, who was. they were. Yeah, yeah. Who they fucking were. Yeah. I mean, whatever, you know, you enjoy the movie, you take the movie whichever way you want, you know, this here's just our basic opinions. I mean, we're you know, we're just matter. ranting, man, we're drunk and we're ranting. Okay? Yeah, we're ranting, he's drunk, I'm more, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm buzzed now. And I'm, I'm not, I'm mean, not as drunk as I was, but I'm still sort of drunk. I ain't as drunk as I once was. <laughs> I'm as drunk as I once was, <laughs> But I'll fuck a ding 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 Oh, uh, okay. let's see. Which canon series is the best? The Clone Wars or the Star Wars Rebels? The Clone Wars, absolutely. You know why? Because the Clone Wars is a lot more serious. There's a lot more sort of aimed at adults. Whereas the Clone or the Reb- Star Wars Rebels, it, 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 the demographic is aimed more for kids, right? And not to mention the action scenes in the Clone Wars is a lot more sort of fluid. And it's more believable, like, especially when Obi-Wan fights Darth Maul, where it's compared to the fucking, what, what's his name, versus the Inquisitor. I forget his name already. Ah, oh, fuck. I it starts with a K. It, the, see, the, the characters are so forgettable. But, you know, when, when he fought, when Ezra and, and his Kanan, Kanan is his name, when Kanan and Ezra fight the Inquisitor, the action scenes are so shifty. They're like, 
you know, they're not as they're not as fluid, in my opinion, as as they were in the Clone Wars. And not to mention the the uh, actual, you know, uh, <coughs> not to mention update, the actual update. 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 Star Wars: The Force Awakens opens to record fifty seven million dollars. Oh, that's great! But anyways. The Clone Wars is superior to the to the Rebels because the Rebels, let's just face it, it's a lot more kiddish. And the demographic is like t maybe eight to ten year old, whereas the Clone Wars, especially after episode th <laughs> uh, season three, the Clone Wars started getting to more like because they realized adults are watching this shit. So the Clone Wars started to get you know more forks in the dots. And if you watch uh, season six, or at least the parts that were released on Netflix, you see Anakin dealing with the sort of jealousy of relationship. Well, Star Wars Rebels isn't gonna deal with that kind of shit, right? And, and so you know you see him f sitting there fighting for Padme's love, right? Uh, uh, that's the reason he turned to the dark side in the first place. But you're not going to see that in Rebels. You're not going to see how fucking Sidious gained control of the banks through blackmail of a politician. Right? You're not going to see that in Rebels. You're just going to see a fucking kid and a fucking Jedi outcast fighting. That's all you're going to see. That's all you're fucking gonna see. You're not gonna see anything deep. You're not gonna see anything fucking in depth. You're just gonna see a fucking basic, fucking simple version of the fucking fight. What are your thoughts? About what's canon? B ver I mean, both Rebels and, and the Clone Wars are canon. What are your thoughts between the two? I like the Clone Wars. It's better. I do, just because they came out with a movie recently, and that was the biggest movie. Yeah, the movie. Uh, we have to say the movie. That was, was the biggest movie between episode three and episode seven, which happened no, today. The, the movie was between episode two and three, but the Clone Wars. But, but actually, our real time, our real time that came well, out after in real episode time. three. In yeah, real in time, real yeah. time, actually chronologically on the Star Wars line, it's between two and three, but it came out between two and three. But but between the real time. <laughs> Yeah, it's between three and seven, but like the you know you know ep the movie itself was kiddish. Episode one and two they were pretty damn kiddish. Although that episode with the bounty hunter was pretty good, uh, and episode with Grievous was pretty good. But after you know after episode three the season started getting a lot more serious, especially when Count Dooku decided to uh, betray Ventress, and Ventress started to seek out the the. Uh, Dathomir sort of sister, witch, witchcraft sisters, and the Dathomir, so, and you got the brother of the fucking Darth Maul-like brother sister, or, or brother, I should say, and the, and the, he sucks, he, he sort of searched out Darth Maul, everything like that, or, or the episode where Jar Jar Binks even, and, uh, what's his name, the Jedi, the Black Jedi, uh, Samuel J. J. Samuel Mace, Mace Windu. Mace Windu and yep. Jar Jar Binks team up to face the enemy of a friend of the gun of Jar Jar Binks. I forget what they call it. And it was the Dathomir sisters. And yeah, they fought. And there was an, another episode. And again, in season six, you know, fucking Anakin versus the jealousy of the love for his, his wife. As well as how the fucking Sith, how fucking Palpatine gained control of the banks. That was fucking Hitler-esque. And that is very genius for how the writing was. Especially because George Lucas wasn't in control of the screenplay. Right? But he was in control of the, of the basic, ver the basic fucking storyline. George Lucas... Should have been in control of the basic storyline, and then others should have came in and wrote the screenplay for it. And I'm, I've heard rumor that six, seven, seven, eight, and nine was is based off of a, a script by George Lucas, but I'm not. I can't confirm that. I can't confirm that. You heard that? Why? Why have you told me that? I don't know, but I can't confirm it. That's why <laughs> it's a rumor. I, I've seen it on YouTube <laughs> videos, but you know, I'll you're seeing the credits. But you, we'll YouTube see in the credits, dude. If it is, we'll see it. We'll see it. Well, you know, YouTube video is not the most credible thing, so no, of course not. So you can't take it. You have, have to take it as a rumor, like playing the rumor game. Like what, what's, what's most, what, what most religions are based on. What are your thoughts? I don't know, man. 
I mean, like I said, I like I like the Clone Wars a lot better than I do Star Wars the, Rebels. The cartoon or the CGI? No, uh, cartoon. You, you, no, the cartoon is with the drawings. The CGI is with the computer animation. Oh, well, CGI then. Yeah, I like yeah. the cartoon one. Duh, cause, my dumb ass. Yeah, the cartoon is very fun, but the CGI is more in-depth with the story. Yeah, CGI, I just remember, you know, I didn't like really like how the graphics were kind of more jagged, you know, they look more like boxes kind but of the, But the but the CGI but the of story, Rebels is really shifty. But the story, yeah. man. I'll, 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 we'll have to watch some of the, the story The story sometime. is I'll pretty just, good. I'll just show you the story of when Ventress gets betrayed by Count Dooku, which leads to the, the fucking Darth Maul and everything. I'll have to show you that yeah. sometime, yeah. You'll probably love it to death. Yeah, that'd I'll, be cool. I'll have to show you that. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. What are the other questions on there? Um, because we're going to edit this into like a few different videos. 